Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another G.I. Joe classified series figure review and today we have in front of us my first Tiger Force figure. Uh, sadly my Outback got cancelled and well, that's shit. But uh, at least we have this one here, Bazooka, which is one I'm very excited about because of course I had the figure, the, the you know, the real American hero little O-ring one. Uh, when I was a kid, I don't know how long I had it because I did play with that and I was maybe four or five So he did not survive so shortly said but here we have bazooka looking great I'm very excited about this one since they announced him since they since they show us the You know the promotional pictures. I was like yeah, that looks good Of course, I will get the red t-shirt one. I mean the regular one when it comes out because I, yeah, this is a character I, I'll have both, uh, um, how do you say, uh, versions of it. But you can see he comes, of course, with a bazooka, a backpack, four rockets, and his red helmet. I mean, it's very char characteristic of him. This, uh, you know, that's his look. Well, this is his Tiger Force look, but it's not that, uh, you know, crazy. Like, like it's so like out of. I mean, it has the stripes on the pants, you know, on the trousers, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just, I mean, of course, with his, you know, it, I don't know if it's football or whatever t-shirt there, uh, yeah, of course, that's that's his look, that's what's what makes him stand out. Anyway, let's stop the rambling, let's take him out of the packaging and see how good he actually is. And here we have Bazooka out of the packaging, but before we take a look at the figure, I just wanted to show quickly the artwork because I think I just skipped it here we have the front one looking great here we have the side artwork well you could take a look and you can see he just blasted some Cobra vehicle or equipment whatever but we're here for the figure and that's why we continue now here we have I mean first of all you can see he can hold his bazooka with both hands and that's, uh, I think, a main feature of this character, if he's called Bazooka. You can see he has a backpack with a, where you can put all four rockets he comes with. Uh, actually, I just put this one here. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I remember having a lot of Bazooka toys. I mean, accessories from different figures, from different lines, where you had, like, the rocket head at the tip. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah. Just take a look at this guy. I really am glad with this one. I'm very happy. This one hits the nostalgia. Here you can see the backpack. Actually, it was pegged. And that peg already took the shape of the hexagon on his back. Anyway, well, you can see it's made of... Well, this uh, rivet suggests it's made of metal. Uh, here you can place the, the rockets. You have four of them. And you just... Yeah, that's the way you, you take them out. Well, I just did like that. Here you can see one of the rockets is just cast in green, well, olive green plastic just as the backpack. And it's, yeah, just a simple thing. You can, of course, if you want, give them some metal scuffing, you know, with some paint, some dry brushing, whatever. If you want, the thing is totally plain, so you can, if you want, Add some paint. Here you can see his helmet, which is also one of the main, you know, the trademark look of Bazooka. It's cast in brown plastic with the red paint on top of it. I just like it and it fits nicely and snug on the figure. And of course we have the Bazooka. I must say he comes just with the Bazooka, no other weapon, no sidearm, no... I mean, I think he should at least have come with the sidearm. I don't know if the vintage figure came only with the bazooka. If you know, please let me know in the comment section below. And by the way, if you're watching this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe because that helps me keep the channel growing and I would like to make this thing grow, you know. Um, would be great. Thank you in advance. You can see the bazooka itself here has some darker green paint on the, well, this I don't know, pouch, uh, I may, maybe that's for to rest on the shoulder, I don't know what's the function of this uh, softer material thing on the actual bazooka, if you know, please let me know again, uh, he ha it has the handle and uh, this side grip here, which is cool, it's hollow, so as you might be guessing, well, you can just unpack this thing, 
and you have a you, you know you have storage here for one rocket but it doesn't go all the way to the front because i think there's like uh, some plastic in the way so that it stops there you know it's intended that way and you can of course just pull, put one in from the front and you know you can do like it's coming halfway so you can just as i did just show the tip of the rocket and yeah i really like this thing you can see all the detail on the upper handle you can see it has a you know like a range or viewfinder or you know crosshair i don't remember the name of these things if you know please let me know i'm just an ignorant in the specifics of weapons full design cool weapon i mean of course a bazooka is always like a cool thing you know you just can imagine like shooting a rocket <laughs> it's 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 a thing on its own you know you can of course just put it in his shoulder kind of like that it's not the most secure thing but it stays there now, again he doesn't come with a sidearm or something which i find a bit of a shame because if he runs out of his four rockets eh, he's doomed you can of course give him some weapon from other characters we you know you must have some weapons laying around i might give him something afterwards you have the, the guy himself what's his name david l katzenbogen david l bazooka katzenbogen and just look at that face i think it's a great face sculpt and with the paint he looks he looks mean <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 i don't know i really have the feels for this character because of because i had the fear and i remember i really enjoyed it when i was a kid i don't know for how, how long before i destroyed it by playing with it you can see one cool thing he has the sleeves there are like a I don't know if it's like I think they're like a floating piece or at least the upper arm is like double molded plastic it's not like it's just cast and painted it's yeah it's double molded plastic there for the bicep and the sleeves of the t-shirt there and that looks very cool you have the number 14 a bit weathered there uh, he has a diaphragm uh, cut instead of uh, an up crunch which I really like I mean at least they made it right with this guy and he actually i think he has more bent forward than backward or at least the same he's not like the typical a lot of bend backwards and almost nothing forward he does bend a bit forward and you can also mix it with the waist but i think that got frozen again the yeah, i'm already doing kind of articulation so let's go through the articulation the head can look upwards only that far which is a bit of a shame, but uh, well, it's there. Uh, you can he can look downwards that far with the help of the neck articulation. He has a bit of tilt to the sides. Actually, you know, let's do things properly. <laughs> That's the look of this guy. Um, you have the arms, which are in a when, of course, the head can look to the sides. Well, the whole neck is turning around because he has such a thick neck. Maybe he's a he has the thickest neck on the G.I. Joe classified line so far. I'm just throwing that without even checking the Gung Ho or Roadblock figure. But I think he, he does win the the neck contest here. We'll see if he's the tallest or not. But uh, maybe not. But yeah, anyway, the, the arms can bend upwards. Well, they can lift a bit over 90 degrees. So he can do T-pose and a little couple of degrees over that. Um, he has a butterfly joint on both arms, of course. Looking, it can go backwards that far, forwards that far, just a little bit. But at least it's a, a functional one. It's doing something. It's not one of those which are just stuck and you can get nowhere with it. The bicep can go, I guess, all the way around. I won't go all the way around because uh, it's cold here, and I, yeah, even if I put him uh, in hot water and all of that. He's getting frozen again. Um, anyway, the, the elbows are double jointed and pinless, as you can see, and can bend that far, which is a really nice range for a buff guy like this. You can see he's jacked, and he even has the veins there, you know? I don't know if I can focus there. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, good thing, both hands are with vertical swivel. So, 
you can that that's very useful of course for for, for any gi joe figure because they they are always wielding firearms and or swords or knives you know um the the diaphragm he can turn to the sides there and and i'm not scared like it uh, i'm not forcing anything you know uh, bending backwards that far bending forwards that far which is decent i would say he has a bit of tilt to the sides well with the diaphragm of course a very nice one and you can also mix it a bit with the waist it helps a bit the waist i won't force it now because again it's getting cold but if you hit this guy you can turn all the way around i can assure you of that uh, he has a little bit of extra bend forwards and backwards on the waist there it's of course a ball joint a ball peg or whatever um the legs i think these are gung hoes yeah i mean the knees are i remember these legs you know uh, but the the boots i think these are new for this guy or these the retro gung ho the same ones i don't know i haven't opened that one so i cannot uh, speak talk about that but uh oof it's getting cold in here it's not again that's me getting scared of the you know the thinness well the the drop down mechanism always yeah i i i'm not a huge fan of that because in many figures you don't gain anything and it's just fragile you know but uh, he can do that much splits which is better than a lot of marvel legends <laughs> you know the thing uh, we say it like it is uh, he has a thigh cut, uh, yeah, thigh cut. Um, he can kick forward. Let me do it safely. He can kick forward that far without the drop down. If you add the thing, you may be able to adjust a little bit. I don't know. I'm not doing it now because, again, yeah, it's getting cold and I don't want to force that peg. Sorry about that. If you get the figure, do it yourself. <laughs> Uh, I'm not being rude, but please understand that I just don't want to snap this thing. And <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's always something I'm scared. Of. I think I said that enough times in my videos that uh, I'm not a huge fan of the drop down, just maybe for ninjas or those characters who really can profit from the high kicks and all of that. Um, the feet can go backwards that far, forwards that far so he has a lot of foot movement um well he the, the double jointed knees that can bend that far because of the plastic it gets in the way he has a boot cut of course and he has a ankle rocker which is uh, not the best one but it's there you know it's it will help you can see that the the belt is floaty and it gets it goes floating all the way um and yeah you can see this is the tiger for tiger force variant but i mean it's just the stripes there on the legs so it doesn't really deter from the figure like being like super colorful well, you know bazooka himself the, the his t-shirt and all of that it's already kind of funny but uh silly i mean but yeah i don't think the I mean, I actually like this tiger pattern on the legs. It's just very simple, very subtle, and it's... And uh, there we have David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen next to the Marvel Legends retro-carded Rogue and Plo Koon from the Black Series. Next to a Cobra Viper and a Cobra Bat. And next to the Cobra Island Roadblock and the Master of the Croc, Croc Master. And yeah, I mean... It's not showing in the camera, maybe, but if I look them with my eye, wearing his helmet, Bazooka is taller than Rockblock. Uh, well, at least than this one. Uh, if I remove the helmet, which I might never ever do, uh, he's a bit shorter. Yeah, anyway, it's weird. In the camera, it shows much more than to my real, you, you know, to my bare eye. I can see they're very similar in height and a bazooka looks, looks taller with the helmet please leave a like share and subscribe uh, that helps the channel a lot i mean this figure is amazing i'm, I'm super stoked to have this one is one of my favorites maybe or, well at least it's one that really uh, connects with me because you know i had it i mean you maybe ha still have that figure the original one 
I don't know, I don't have it anymore, I destroyed it by playing with it, but uh, I have fun memories of this character, just I remember the name Bazooka my whole childhood, you know, and it's, it's here, I really like the figure, it looks cool, uh, it's funny with his uh, sports t-shirt and all of that, and I can only highly recommend this guy, I'm very glad, uh, but you decide for yourself, of, of course. So. That's it for this review. Please take care and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.